Hey everyone, what's up? Gary Simon of course, Cetro.com. So today we're going to talk about building out an email list here in 2019. And we're first going to cover why and how you should. And then I'm going to show you actually how to do it with the help of this video sponsor, which is MailerLite of MailerLite.com. All right, so MailerLite is an email marketing software designed to take away the complexity of creating and sending professional email campaigns. And you'll see that very shortly once we progress in this video. It's ideal for small business owners and entrepreneurs who want all the benefits of a big email tool without all the unnecessary noise and complexity. So anyone can easily build newsletters from scratch with their drag and drop editor or choose from a library of well-designed templates. All right, so we're gonna get into that and you're gonna see exactly how to do it. But first, let's switch over to the slides so that I can address some common questions that you may have, especially if you're a newcomer, maybe you're somebody who you think shouldn't even have an email list. Well, I'm gonna show you that you're wrong. You definitely should. So make sure to subscribe if you enjoy this and let's get started. All right, so building an email list in 2019 and the importance of doing so. So like I said, we're first gonna cover just a couple slides here and then we're gonna get into the real thing with MailerLite and I'm gonna show you how to set it all up. All right, so first, the, the most obvious question that newcomers will have is, and some of you may have, is why do you even need an email list? Now for myself, I have my own email list of 100,000 subscribers plus or so um, that I send a weekly newsletter to. And I can tell you just from personal experiment, experience that you should have an email list. And that's regardless of where you're at in your career or your life. I think everybody should have an email list of some sort because it can only help. So let's find out why. So first, it's a reliable way of reaching your audience. Now, if you think about uh, social media, for instance, uh, like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, if you asked me if I would rather, if I had to choose one option for having 100,000 subscribers or likes or followers or whatever, uh, and, and I only could choose one of those, I would choose email. Because uh, think about it for a second. When you have, and you're relying on these other networks uh, to to have your different followers and, and all that, you're kind of at their will. You know, for instance, look at Facebook. Every time you send out a status update or something on your like a, your personal page or your business page, even they only send it out to a tiny percentage. So that ten thousand, maybe only a thousand people are seeing. Uh, so. When it comes to email, you know with certainty it's pretty much going to reach almost every single one of those 100,000 email boxes. And so you get much more bang for your buck and you control it. Now, of course, the users can unsubscribe, but ultimately you are in control of that email list. Now, you also, it allows you to uh, notify them of new services or content. This is an obvious one. This is how I run my email list. I Every week I have new videos on YouTube and perhaps some other content on the website and I send them out an email containing those links and any, anything that's relevant based on what's happened that week. So it's a great way uh, to remain uh, in contact with your users. And you can also uh, build trust with email sequences uh, in which is something that MillerLite also provides. and. Basically, email sequences are just a number of different email campaigns that you can send to your email list over a certain period of time. Could be a few days, could be a few weeks, or even months. And in doing so, you build trust with your email subscribers to ultimately try to get them to purchase a product or to, to perform some sort of action of some sort. Also, sell advertising, and that's what I do with mine. I, there's a small banner at the top of my emails, and companies pay me several hundred dollars to put that, e uh, that little ad right up there. And so it's a great way for multiple uh, methods of monetization for your internet business. So how do you get started? All right, well, first you need to establish a product or service of some sort, and this could be your blog, a personal blog. Like for instance, a lot of you, watching my channel, your new developers or your new designers, and you may be wondering, what do I have to offer? Why would people want to give me their email address? Well, you have to think like an entrepreneur. If you're new, for instance, and you're learning new stuff, I think you should have a personal blog of some sort where you're writing about what you learned. If you had an aha moment, guess what? There's a massive audience of people who are in your same shoes who would like to know what you just learned. And by trying to capture their email address, 
you're going to be building up an audience and that can only help you, especially if you get an early start for later in your career where you're going to have this massive audience. Next, you create an offer of some sort. So you have to give your visitors a reason to give you their email. A lot of people don't like spam and you really have to give them something intriguing that will you know, incentivize them to give that email. So that's why when you visit some sites, you'll see, I uh, like for me on the development sites or whatever, you'll see maybe a little um, a div that pops up on top of the page, kind of like a pop-up, but not in a new window, not a new browser window anymore. That used to be rampant in the late 90s, but it'll be a pop-up of some sort uh, that is telling you, you know, if you want to receive my free ebook, put in your email. So that's what I'm talking about. Try to give them incentives of some sort to give you their email. Next, you want to join an ESP, which is an email service provider. And that's what MailerLite is, the sponsor of this video. And it basically provides you with a few different tools for managing and curating your email list. First, you, it allows you to build a landing page or some way of capturing the emails. So it will help manage your email list and also helps build your email campaigns with a bunch of different customizable templates and options for doing so. So now let's go ahead, I'm gonna head over to MailerLite and show you exactly how you would use it to start building your email list. All right, so head on over to MailerLite.com, use the link here in the description at the top in YouTube. And I first, before we log in, I'm gonna check out the pricing page, just to let you know that if you have between one and 1,000 subscribers, the service is 100% free to use and allows you to send 12,000 emails per month. Me, I don't email people more than once a week. So, you know, if I had 1,000 here, I could send 4,000 and that's more than enough for me. So this is way more uh, than you would probably ever need to send uh, up to 1,000 people anyhow. So definitely make sure you sign up and then follow along with me. I've already joined, very simple process. And the first thing you wanna do is come up to forms because remember you need a way to capture the emails to get them into the system of some sort. And they provide you with three different options. You can have pop-ups here, as I mentioned before during the slides, where you can create a pop-up and choose when you want to show it to your visitors. So you can see that sometimes commonly like, so I, for instance, show when users scroll to an X percentage of your website. I do that on my Angular written uh, tutorials on my website where they scroll down a little bit and then it will show up. You can also configure it so we wait X seconds before showing the pop-up and then also show when the users attempt to leave your page. Uh, we also have full landing pages that they offer and this is probably the one you can actually use without even having a website. Um, and there are also embedded forms where you can just make it show up at, at a permanent spot of your user interface on your website. So let's try creating a landing page here. We're going to give it a name. I'll just call this Corsetro. Save and continue. All right. And we'll choose a group. You're going to want to create a subscriber group first. And this allows you to kind of segment your, your, your emails uh, lists that you have. I already have one created here called subscribers. All right, and then next we have all of these templates from which we can choose and then even further customize. All right, so uh, again, these are full landing pages uh, that you can send your visitors to. So let's say we'll just choose this one. You could preview it. Allows you to customize all this. So let's choose use this template right here. And you're gonna see momentarily that it provides you uh, with a lot of options outside of just changing the type, you can do a lot of other things uh, with this. As you can see, there's a property section over here based on what you select. We can see you could change and customize the navigation up here. Even if you want them, you can just quickly delete options. If you want uh, the email form, I, all of this stuff is completely uh, customizable. I'm not going to spend time customizing it myself, but just to let you know, as you can see, dead simple to use. So let's go ahead and save this and hit next. And then here's a really cool part. So now we have page settings and the landing page URL. So you can add a custom domain if you wish, but you could just use subscribepage.com, which is their generic sort of domain that they own and host uh, with this 
customizable URL right here. And say for instance, you don't have a website, maybe you have a social media following, uh, you could just send people directly to this link. And every time somebody enters their email address in that landing page template that we use, then it gets saved to your account and then you can start marketing to them as needed. There's also SEO settings and all of this good stuff. I'm just gonna hit save and continue. And there we go. So we now have this landing page URL, which is currently live right here. So let's put in an email address. Um, I'll put in, let's see, we'll put in contact at corsetro.com. And you'll see it's going to go to this thank you page with this Lorm Ipsum text. And of course, this is all customizable as well. So if we go back here to stats, We'll see that it already, it's in basically real time. We have our information here about uh, the, the, the user, contact at corsetra.com and all of that good stuff. So you can also customize the confirmation email. I What that means is when we have double opt-in chosen, which is what you should use, it means that this email will only be active in, in, in something that you can uh, send an email to and send campaigns to if they've opened up their email and confirmed their email address. That's double opt-in, essentially. So if I looked up my email, I would be able to confirm that email address uh, or that that list uh, to be able to, to opt into the newsletter or whatever it is that I'm subscribing to. Uh, so this is what that confirmation email section looks like. You can go ahead and edit this to change a variety of different settings, such as the email address, um, the probably this button as well. And also there's a confirmation thank you page. So when that person clicks that confirm, that blue confirm button, then this is what will show up as well um, in their browser when they click that link. So next, after you have a way to collect your email addresses, then you'll wanna head on over to campaigns. And campaigns is where you craft your emails that you're going to send to your users. So let's create our first email address here, or not email, but email campaign. So a subject, this is what's ever is gonna show up in the subject line. All right, you can even insert personalization right here. If you're collecting their name outside of their email, which you can do as well, their company and all of that good stuff. Who is it from? We can customize that and the from email address. And now we can specify and work on the content of the email. So you can use their new drag and drop editor or a classic version. You can also use a template gallery and templates aren't available in the free plan, but they will give you options if you upgraded to have these default templates that you can use as starting points. So start from scratch, we'll choose a new drag and drop editor very, very simple to use. And I, I believe most of you guys won't find it very easy to use. It's gonna be easy for anybody to use really. Um, and they already start you off with just a basic template. I like simple emails as it is, usually just a logo at the top. Simply change it with a file on your computer that you can do right here. And then begin changing out your text. So get ready. Check out my new videos. I don't want that. We could just have our text down here. And again, we have bullet point options, which is what I usually do. I usually have just uh, maybe two or three sentences describing what I did. And then I'll have a bullet point section with uh, my unordered list right here with my latest video. So um, learn how to create an email marketing list or something like that. And then I will usually link it to that URL on YouTube. And then just go on down the list. And as you can see, all of this is quite customizable. All right. So once you're done with that, hit done editing. I'm gonna first go ahead and confirm that email, contact at corsetra.com that we specified again, we didn't customize this at all at that point, but now it is confirmed. And now, let me just refresh this page. And we can choose between the various groups that we set up. And I only have one called subscribers here. 
and hit next to review and confirm. And now we can go ahead and schedule this and we can send this now, send later, deliver based on time to zones, which is a paid feature. And you can also use Google Analytics even to track the links coming from the campaign. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna hit send. And momentarily, I'm going to receive this email and any of my other subscribers, only have one at this point, would receive exactly what we created. And this took all of what, like a few minutes to set up. So very easy to use and straightforward. I, I like it very much. And here it is. So that's the fake logo. Normally this would be like a Corsetra logo. And we have all of our stuff here and awesome, awesome stuff showed up within a matter of about 30 seconds. Next, you can check out automation. And this is where you can build out uh, an email sequence where you can get even more in depth with your email list. And it'll allow you to set up a workflow trigger and you can use and, and experiment with this on your own, but definitely know that uh, once you start building out um, a more robust email list, you can easily use this to create email sequences, which really help sell whatever products uh, that you're trying to sell. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that. I definitely think you should check it out, especially at least the very, at very least this free plan by clicking on the link here below in the YouTube description and start building your email list as soon as possible. All right, I'll see you guys soon.